And the Philippines voted yesterday. Halfway through the term of President Duterte, he was not contesting. Yet the elections are being seen as a referendum on his rule. The polls are expected to strengthen his grip on power. And after this election, the Philippines could see the Senate fill up with allies of President Rodrigo Duterte, giving him the legislative backing to further his anti-crime agenda and also plan to rewrite the Constitution. Millions of Filipinos cast their ballots on Monday to select new lawmakers. A political exercise that is likely to strengthen President Rodrigo Duterte's hold on power. Mahalagahan para sa akin ng pagboto ngayong araw na ito dahil para na rin sa mga... It's very important to vote because this is for the younger generation who will also get to vote soon like my children. I hope that they will do the same. Today we'll vote for our new leaders and hoping that this could end corruption. The poor are getting poorer. This is our chance to make a change. This is our only right. Today we are equals. There is no rich or poor. Nearly 62 million Filipinos registered to choose among 43,500 candidates, vying for about 18,000 congressional and local posts. The most crucial race is for the 12 seats in the 24-member Senate. Seats Duterte wants to fill with allies to carry forward his legislative agenda. Duterte is known for his foul mouth tirades, but he remains hugely popular among Filipinos fed up with country's general dysfunction and leaders who have failed to fix it. I want us to have genuine change and people who will truly help our president. If I vote for those who would not help, his six years will be useless. These last three remaining years, we need to give the president people who will help him so that he would succeed in his goals. For our goal is to make every Filipino succeed. Corruption here in the Philippines has not changed one bit. It's still everywhere. That's why I like how the present government has governed. I'm a bit satisfied, but I want more satisfaction from them after this election is over. After the election, President of the of the Duterte won the 2016 presidential election by a big margin as an alternative candidate and a no-nonsense newcomer. His tough on crime platform was the key to his landslide victory. Winning a Senate majority in these elections could give Duterte legislative backing to further his anti-crime agenda and also his plan to rewrite the constitution. The opposition wants that constitutional changes could lead to the single-term limit for the presidency being lifted. Such an amendment of the statute would allow President Duterte to seek re-election, contrary to his assertions that he would stand down at the end of his term. It will also allow Duterte to expand his controversial anti-drug crackdown by bringing back the death penalty, a pledge that the UN Human Rights Council said gave it cause for deep alarm. The Philippines outlawed capital punishment in 1987, restored it six years later, and then abolished it again in 2006. All eyes are now on the 12 Senate seats up for grabs. That will definitely play an important role in altering major policies in Philippines. Bureau report, Beyond World is One.